Thanks for watching SNN, the Suncoast News Network. Welcome back again. I'm Eric Wilson filling in for Don Brennan, and we get right back to your stories. Summer is just around the corner, and already Americans are gearing up in potentially record numbers to take those summer vacations. But rising demand and inflation means it will probably cost you more to get there. Ivan Rodriguez takes a look at the summer travel forecast and what it could mean for your plans and your wallet. It's only April, but summer travelers are already eager to take to the skies. On Thursday, Delta Airlines reported record advance bookings for this coming summer. And in its travel forecast released this week, Expedia noted a 25% increase in online flight searches for the June through August period. I thought last summer was going to be the sold out summer because of this pent up demand for travel, but people clearly didn't get it out of their systems. They're ready to go again this summer. People are not going to give up on their travel. Airlines say they're prepared for the summer travel surge, but fears of meltdowns like those that crippled air traffic last year has the FAA allowing some major airlines to reduce their flight schedules at a few of the nation's busiest airports due to a shortage of air traffic controllers in an effort to reduce flight delays. Let's remember those lessons we learned last summer, bring them into this summer, book those early flights when possible, direct flights when possible, and keep it all in a carry-on. The surge in demand for flights also means vacationers are likely to pay more. Airfares are up over last year, increasing by more than 17%, according to the latest federal inflation data. Yet higher prices don't seem to be deterring future flyers, and there are still deals to be found. Book on Sundays, travel on Wednesdays, and the sweet spot to get the best deal on domestic airfare is 21 to 60 days out. All right, well, you know, make sure you also take care of those clinics because the kids have to get their sports, you know, baseball, basketball, soccer clinics all during the summer. But speaking of travel, I need to book my flight. Thanks, Melanie and Ivan. Now, the Minneapolis City Council settled two civil cases against former police officer Derek Chauvin for nearly $9 million. This happened after new body cam footage from one of those cases shows Chauvin hitting a man with a flashlight in 2017. David Schumann reports. Never know who you're dealing with until they show their true colors. Former officer Derek Chauvin went to John Pope's house in 2017 for a domestic assault call. More than a half hour after arriving, he and his partner went to Pope's room. You're under arrest, so stand up. Then 14, Pope and his family have released this video stand for the up. first time. Stand up. I'm not going to ask you it again. Chauvin comes in and hits Pope with a metal flashlight. He touched me in my own house. Press down. He puts his hand on his neck. What I say? Put your back now. I feel last way too long. Ow. Then Chauvin kneels on his neck for more than 15 minutes. Cause my neck really hurts. Other officers in the room say nothing except. You good, Chauvin? You need need a break or anything? Chauvin pleaded guilty to federal charges stemming from this incident, and Pope won a seven and a half million dollar settlement with the city Thursday. I wouldn't say behind me, but you know, it's one step closer, yeah. The city also paid out more than one point three million dollars to Zoya Code. Also in 2017, Chauvin dragged her by her arms during an assault arrest, dropping her head first. Ow! That's how you gonna slam me on the ground? That's how you gonna do me? Just like all the other black people, huh? He then kneeled on her neck for nearly five minutes. Code's charges were later dropped. Some of those things um, continue to haunt her. Mayor Jacob Fry and recently hired police chief Brian O'Hara apologized to the victims, noting a culture that didn't hold Chauvin accountable. I am appalled at the repetitive behavior of this coward and disgusted by the inaction and acceptance of the behavior by members of this agency. You can't just say it, and that means that when you see somebody do something that's not right, that should be followable, that you have to stand by that decision. Coming up on the Headline Edition, Chief Meteorologist Justin Mosley with your complete weather authority forecast and John Reynolds with sports. Keep it right here.